It's a very unique game, this. One over here, boys. Your team will there we go. Yeah, so I think the car is disintegrated after a while, so... Stick to walls, I think would be the lesson. There it is. Alpha, get moving. Where did the guy go? Oh, he was probably there, wasn't he? Oh, I hate this part. Uh, right. <laughs> Saving my life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alpha, listen. Move, move. All right. Now we're gonna get shot. Check it. Got one. Man. Open ground is a oh. death trap. Without any cover or concealment. Get the mag. You expose Give me a second to reload. Enemy fire. Collateral damage. Just Come on, y'all. Now press and hold the B button to order your men to take cover. Take cover! You got it! Your soldiers are smart ah. enough to find the closest cover, but they might sometimes progress, you can press the B button to stop your team in their tracks. Alright, yeah. Next waypoint. However, press B before they reach it. Yeah, so this is like this is just a reaction to what you did. To get him into a corner, you have to do that, and then they're better off that way. Wow. Uh, where's the? That's really good. Alpha yeah. team, move. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I didn't work. It's up, Alpha. Get going, move. I pressed it. Oh, there we go. To practice formations and moving from cover to cover. Yeah. When you're ready to leave the exercise, move to the objective marker. Dismissed. I think we should be good. Um, where is it? Is it here? 0.37, so it's probably in here, isn't it? Yeah, we should be good. Uh, it's a bit further on, I think. Fire team Alpha, listen. Move, move. There we go. Listen up, Alpha. Go. There we go. Let's review the basics of movement and navigation. Your GPS okay. and compass will keep you on the right track. Pressing the black button brings up your GPS mini map. <laughs> A button toggles between map and mission objective mode. Pay attention to the objective marker on your compass. It will lead you towards your current mission objective. Always move your team from cover to cover. Leaving your men in open ground is pure suicide. Always move huh. quickly from one covered position to another. And remember, yeah, corners are excellent permanent cover. When you approach a yeah. blind corner, make sure your team is in corner formation. This places the team leader at the edge of the corner, allowing him to see around it. Use the right thumbstick to pivot your view around the corner to scan for enemies. Remember, cover will keep you alive. Use it. Squad dismissed. <laughs> All right. So it looks yeah, it looks like we have to play the tutorial first, which is good because I've completely forgotten a lot about this game. <laughs> ourselves with the basics of using fire tactics this is an exercise only miles gear not live fire all the same take this as seriously as if your lives depended on it best way to Select do Alpha things team and move them to the waypoint at the car all right here we go Alpha, head over let's there. do it you're wide open now there aren't you bravo. though bravo, move hey. bravo to the next waypoint Yo, Bravo, yeah. move out, let's go. Now switch back to Alpha and let's get an op four out there. Listen up, Alpha. Alpha doesn't Yo, return fire here. automatically. Why is that? Private first class Silverman. Yeah. Because the tango is not a direct threat, sir. Come on, y'all. Exactly. You pussy's afraid the of the shield easy. icon above a soldier's <laughs> head means the soldier has cover against all known threats. Alpha team did not fire back because they're protected from this angle. Got okay. it? Okay. Now press the X button and let's put a fire sector on that op four. Move the fire 
sector cursor so the enemy is inside the circle. Lance, then press A to here. give the fire order. <laughs> I like that guy. Point fire. Focus, yes. soldiers. Stay sharp. You should get him, right? Yeah. Good you job. Know. There we Once go. you gave the yeah. fire order, Alpha targeted the op for and eliminated him. Now let's switch to Bravo and look at another example. Bravo. We'll send out another op for. This time, at an angle that leaves Bravo vulnerable. Notice how your team responds oh, to the way they've been trained. They return fire. In the open, they'll go prone if they come under attack without cover. That's what I'm about. And that's a red flag to you because it means your soldiers can be killed. Mm. Thanks, Op 4. You're all done. Now move they were very slow to react the there, which was... Which makes sense. So as you can see, it's very easy to play, despite uh, playing two teams. It, you know... It reminds me of, uh, I said this was the first, like, Mortal Kombat game. I take that back. Um, I would say Conflict Desert Storm was the first one to kind of go more modern, you know, because it fo focused on the first Gulf War, as it were, back in the 90s. Um, this game kind of reminds me like that, uh, where you control, like, four soldiers at once. It's not as hard as it looks. And it's the same with this. It's not as hard as it feels and looks. Now let's move Alpha. Switch teams. Team Alpha. Move Alpha to the corner waypoint. Which is right here, so they'll stay there. So as long as you control it, like, there's never a situation where you would have to control both teams. Alpha, You're always doing one at once, so it makes it a lot easier to kind of... As long as you keep moving in the cover, it shouldn't be a problem. I've forgotten right. a lot about this game here. <laughs> You're on stage. Now that the op force behind cover, give Alpha a fire sector targeting him. Mm. Remember to use the right thumb Oops. stick to look around the corner. <laughs> too soon. It makes it much easier to order the fire sector. Yep. Point fire right. to my signal. Now you're seeing the other side of the hey, got some action. The Op 4 has cover against you. See the icon above his head? That tells you the enemy has cover against this team's attack. Uh -huh. So, now you're in a stalemate. You can't hit the Op 4 and he can't hit you. Cancel the fire order by pressing the B button. Hold what are you going to do now, man. soldiers? Right on ass, <laughs> you can use a grenade, but they're a precious commodity once we get in country. Yeah. That's why you have a GPS, so you can use your brain instead of your brawn. <laughs> Press the black button to open your GPS. By analyzing this map, you can sometimes find alternate routes to outflank entrenched enemies. Yeah, there you go. See in this it? situation, you can circle around the op for and take him by surprise. Press the black button again to put the GPS away. In order to flank the enemy, Bravo's yeah, going to have to cross the street. Yep. That op four will take down two or three of them within the first few seconds that they're exposed. In order to move Bravo safely, you must engage the enemy. Give Alpha a fire sector on that enemy again. It's quite... What can be quite annoying is all the voices overlap at once sometimes. Zoom in on the enemy and look close. I think they got the... Uh, buttons there so they should start firing now that trigger notice the engagement icon ah op four is engaged he won't fire on any other targets unless those targets end a move out of cover focus soldiers stay sharp well, alpha keeps that enemy engaged move bravo across the street to the waypoint yep fire team bravo don't have all the Give me a sec to reload. i gotta reload, I gotta reload. <laughs> bravo team move right, here we go Now, Bravo can return the favor. What the hell was that? Follow the waypoints around the building and flank that op for. Move! Hey, Bravo, move! Hey, hold still Wait for a for minute, will you, Zeke? <laughs> move Bravo to the next corner. Yeah, when doing this, be mindful of the ammo um, above the team indicator there. Uh, there will be points in a mission where you can go to a truck Bravo, hey, and move. reload. I, th I think that might tell us at some point. Take care when you approach an engaged enemy. If your team gets too close or moves out of cover, you'll break his engagement. You got ah, it. okay. That enemy no longer has cover against you. Give Bravo a fire sector and let's take him down. Ah, so you need to be careful. Um, Point fire now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You guys Good. Do okay out there. Take a minute got to it. practice what you've learned. When you're ready to move on, head to the waypoint and we can get started on the grenades course. About time I got to use this motherfucker. Silverman! <laughs> this? Uh, M203, sir. 
<laughs> Treat it like your best friend, not an object. Um, let's see. I can't. Hey, brother, go, go. All right. I think you might have to bring both of them over, don't you? Let's let's find out. Your attention, brother. Move. Hey, move. Nah. It's only when you need a you need to save and use a sit back. Most important thing okay. you can learn is how to engage and flank the enemy. Let's review. An engaged enemy will only fire at the attacking team. To engage an enemy, order one team to put a fire sector on its position. With all that firepower trained on him, the Tango can't focus on any other team. This creates an opportunity for your other team to maneuver safely. Just because an enemy has cover doesn't mean he's invulnerable from all angles. With enemies behind cover, look for other positions that might afford you a clean shot. Sometimes checking your GPS map can reveal good flanking positions. Use fire sectors to engage enemies around corners. When approaching an intersection, form your team up at the corner with the team leader at the front of the formation. Use the right thumbstick to look around the corner. Issue a fire sector to attack from the safety of the corner. This is good protocol and should be used when approaching every blind corner. Live by those rules and you'll be unstoppable. Squad dismissed. I think a tip would be only start firing when you know that someone can get across because obviously the burning through ammo. I forgot about smoke grenades. <laughs> grenades have a kill radius. Yep. Grenades bounce, so pick your trajectory carefully. And don't waste them. Going into the field will have a strictly limited supply. Press and hold the X button to bring up the grenade cursor. Strictly limited. I guess that's due to resources though, right? I always I I'm kind of like thinking, why is it strictly limited? Button disabled. Oh, and, oh, hold it. Was it pay attention? You can change the arc and direction of your throw with the left thumbstick. Moving up or down increases or decreases the distance. Yep. Left or right rotates the direction of the throw. Aim the grenade cursor at the target. Then press the A button to deploy it. That was a positive count. Frag out. Try it again and keep in mind that you can sometimes drop a grenade between two targets and successfully hit them. Yep. Negative kill, soldier. Close won't eliminate your target. Do it again. Fire in the hole! They should give us earplugs. You'll get used to it, rabbit. What, sir? Never mind, private. Never mind. <laughs> Frag out! Good, Ooh. gentlemen. I think you're on point with your M67. The clock's ticking to our deployment, so let's continue to the M203. Our arsenal includes your friend and mine, the grenade launcher. Uh -huh. Targets at distance and lightly armored vehicles require the M203. Yep. First, bring up the grenade cursor. Press um, and hold X. As a side note, uh, the, the D-pad thing you were taught, I don't think you really use it. If I remember, I don't think you really need to use it so much. The has changed to show you your current grenade selection and count. Oh, hang on a minute. I take that back. Correspond to the directions on your D-pad. Yeah. Frags are automatically selected. Now, press down on the D-pad to select the M203. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> this new targeting cursor is for the M203 grenade launcher. As this is a direct fire weapon, aim is important. Yep. Place the cursor over the target, then press the A button to deploy. You can zoom in with the left trigger to help you hit the target. Frag out. Enemy target Look at that shit <laughs> The M203 is your most powerful asset, but you'll have a very limited supply. Yep. Take out these new targets with the M203. Negative kill, soldier. Close won't eliminate your target. Do it again. Yeah, I just keep doing that. Me twice when it comes to blowing shit up. The M203 <laughs> is a shaped explosive warhead, and it packs a powerful punch. Target the cars and fire. M203 front. Gentlemen, you've got it. Let's advance to our next exercise. Rally your team and move to the next waypoint. 